Well, good morning. Today we're off to Kennedy Space Centre. It's one hour drive along a toll road and it opens at nine o'clock. It's now eight o'clock. We've got to get a little bit of petrol first and then on our way. Not been here for how long was the last time we were here? Uh, about 35 years. 35 years? Mm -hmm. My god, they've had a few rockets go up since then. <laughs> so anyway, follow us on our travels as the day begins at Kennedy Space Centre. That is not nice though. It certainly does. Aye. And we are here. And it's a lovely drive because we were actually watching alligators on the side of the actual rivers, wasn't we? We were. Oh, this is good. So the first thing they eat you when you get here is a $10 parking fee. Same as like Disney, the you pay it, they put the barriers up in it. But you actually eat with this. And look at this. When you see these rockets and what I don't know if they're simulated rockets or what. We will see. But let's go in and let's see what Kennedy has to offer. Carol just started posting on her Instagram little pictures, haven't you? Yeah. What is your Instagram name? Karen Ann, I think. Carol Ann? Ann? Yeah. You sure? I'm I'll sure put that in comments that. anyway, or I'll pull it up on the screen. In case anyone wants to follow her, she's gonna be doing that from now on when we're out here. So people can see exactly where oh, we are. Just used to it, so how much do we pay for this? £103 for both of us. Both of us, but we get a $15 meal, uh, meal voucher. voucher as well. So mm -hmm. it's not too bad, is it? Eh? I don't think too bad. And also, look, you've got here rocket launch tours, journey to Mars. Yeah. And also, we've got some pricing just here as well, in case you're thinking about adults, it's 75 plus tax. One day ticket, a two day ticket, <coughs> 79 so yeah, hopefully you can freeze that and just have a deal. quick look. Yeah, we got quite a good deal, didn't we? And we got that with um, the traction tickets, wasn't it? Yeah, good. So we've been told to exchange our email ticket at the wheel call window, which Carol has just said here. Oh, this looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So that was very informative. We've actually got a ticket to everything, haven't yeah. we? So we don't have to pay add-ons for any bus tours or anything like that. And our fifteen dollar dining plan is they don't give change, so you need to get as close to fifteen dollars <laughs> or a little bit more when you think. Anyway, let's go in and have a look around. She did say try to do the tour before two o'clock, didn't she? Yeah. So we'll probably do that straight away here, do you reckon? Yeah, before it fills up here. Because look. There is all the tours are actually turning up here, so it's nice to get here pretty early. Wow. So we're going to try the bus tour straight away, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. It's good, isn't it? And the idea that they do a tour and you can just hear it loud in the background, yeah. and they, which we will do afterwards, won't we? Yeah. Yeah? Wow. Look at this here, babe. When we come, what was it, 37 years ago? No, about 34. 34 years ago. This was nothing like this at all, was it? It was just like um, a theatre, really. And we've done a bus tour. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. It's and changed so much. Time, it's good, isn't it? And it looks as if, like, what we've seen so far, that they're really sort of informative with everything that goes on. Mm. Yeah. So let's go and do the bus tour first of all, and then we can sort of explore this area later. But no. Pretty impressed. With wonder and amazement. Their glow guiding our travel for centuries. We're on the bus. The moon. Not the safety. This rocket here stands 86 feet tall in height and is considered to be a baby rocket. It would take 250 billion ping pong balls to fill it. 
It was built in the 1960s for the Apollo program. Every Saturn V rocket that sent humans to the moon was assembled right here. Every space shuttle mission. I've just noticed the actual floor. Have you noticed it, right? It's right, isn't it? These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap. And we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. It's good because all the chair that you're sitting on is shaking. What do you think of that, mate? Wow, look at it. What do you think of look at it? Massive, isn't it? It does have the actual look inside there, and it is so small. Is it? Yeah, amazing. You've got to do it, girl. You've got to do it. So we just have a little look inside what they travelled like. See? Well, they took very small, isn't it? Tiny, isn't it? Yeah, very tiny. And just look at the size. It's so informative, isn't it? There's just so much to see here, isn't there? You can't take it all in. You just can't take it all in. It's like there's so much to see and it's so informative. And it's just like, it makes you feel very small, doesn't it? <laughs> With yeah. what, like, what they can actually do and everything. So yeah, and look at it, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And to see the size of this rocket, wow. Apollo 17 mission, the last of the Apollo series of missions to the moon. One which uh, was really quite spectacular. The valley we landed in was deeper than the Grand Canyon. Uh, it, there are no particular hazards in moving rapidly around the moon, uh, principally because you can't hit the moon very hard if you fall. It's like being a child again. That's it. Oh, that is the moon. Right, so I've got to touch this because otherwise I would never hear the end. Yeah, well, Carol will be there. I'll touch the moon. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> and also trod on my foot. So it's nice to come outside here and you can and actually see the launch pads here. Great, you can actually yeah. see them over there. Different launch pads. And if you're lucky enough to see a takeoff here, this is one of the viewing areas. But yeah, and this is a natural sanctuary for wildlife as well so you can hear all the birds and we've seen a few alligators and everything no, we are well impressed with it well impressed with this so far so this is where you would actually sit to watch a rocket launch and let's just go up here and have a quick look around what, what view you would see and that is the actual view you see they're all about three miles away plus. But no. Gorgeous. Yeah, if we ever come back and there's a launch going, we've got to pay to come and see it here, yeah. yeah, haven't we? Yeah. We've got to do it. Yeah. But this is it here, look. Apollo 15. As soon as we get back, I'm going to watch it, the film of this again. Because now I understand it more. Big ears. Hey, hey. 
big it is. Right, it's a question you wanted to know, wasn't it? Yeah. How do astronauts go to the toilet in space? Well, take a seat, strap themselves in. They have to use a camera to position themselves <laughs> so that what comes out goes in the right direction. Yeah? Yeah. And flush and clean up. And, uh, and this is the actual toilets. And there is the camera. <laughs> So now it's been answered. And astronauts go to a toilet in space. <laughs> yeah, they just float around. Yeah, but it's like a, they put themselves into that. Yeah, and just sleep. But it's not actually standing. Yeah, it's not actually standing up because there is no up or down in space. So let's get some dinner. There you go, babe. <laughs> Okay, right. So my meal was twenty dollars, twenty dollars thirty. Got fifteen dollars off, and this is the hamburger and a drink. Carol ordered a meal separately, and she's still up there waiting for it. And there she comes. They all did you what? I've got it on here. You pushing no bread. No, you pushed it. Oh well. So she didn't want bread. So you have the option of no bread. Carol pushed no bread, thinking it was it's either gluten free bread or no bread. And she thought I just want normal bread. So she pushed no bread. And now, she's got the ump with me because she didn't push the bread. So you went up there, you found your sauces. I did, and the gherkins. And the gherkins. A bit happier now? Feeling sorry? No, no, you made bread. I didn't. You actually see gluten bread or no bread and you push no bread. But I will carry on with my meal. In silence, because she's got the um. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of it? Quite nice. It is, it's not too bad, is it? And the salad, you get a lot of dressing. You get a nice. dressing, and yeah. Hmm. Mine's nice. Mine's probably the same as yours, but also, I went for the bread. <laughs> the bread is delightful. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the taste is. <laughs> I love it out here that you can just go up as many times as you want and get free refills on the drink. Really good idea, isn't it? Yeah? How's your meal going about your bread? So, meal wasn't too bad, was it? Was Enjoying it here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Something different, isn't it? Onward we go. So there's presentations all over the place, isn't there? Yeah. Hey? We're going to see how the computer will be able to break the glass. So let's pull it out. It's good, isn't it? It's just brilliant to see all this. You have to be really interested in space, though. You do. Don't you? You, you do, do have to. You do get to. I mean, I've got some interesting points out of it. Yeah, you don't really understand it too much at all, do you? No. But for Carol to get something out of it, it's pretty good. <laughs> isn't it? Hey? Yeah. Yeah? It's interesting, but yeah. I'm not. No, I, I'm very passionate about it, especially when I was younger. And for me, it's been fantastic. Yes. The Carol. Off for under the sea, the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, but it's the things you see, isn't it? It's, it's so much history and everything, which is good. Yeah, to see the. Like, to see the, the, the space, yeah. yeah. What they go like, through and yeah, everything. The and the pieces like, of the moon and everything. So, anyway, let's go up here, see what's here. Going to the red planet. Are we? That's what it said. You enjoyed that little flight simulator thing, didn't you? Yeah. Going to Mars. Well, little up. Yeah. Let's have a quick little look around this place. 
There's quite a lot to do, but obviously it's just set on space flight. Not really recommended for the little ones. More for people who are just interested in rockets, really. But a good day out, and well worth it for what we paid. As Carol said, we paid. How much we paid, girl? How much we paid? Under three pounds, and with lunch included, not too bad, was it? Fifteen dollars each. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad at all. And to just see these is worth it. It's weird when you see how many have died, ain't you? Yeah. Ah. Uh -uh. So should we call that a day here? Yeah? Yes, I think yeah. we can. We'll drive back and yeah. see what we get up to next. But no, really, really educational, isn't it? Very, 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 very educational. And your little ones won't like it. I think they'll find it a bit boring. A bit boring, yeah. A bit boring. Yeah, but I mean, for, the, for the history, it, the history it's great. history and to open your eyes up to space really but if you've got to be into it you've got to be into it yeah to really get the most to get the most of it yeah but well worth doing and especially for the price that we paid now, did we say that this is actually in a nature reserve Amazing, isn't it? Amazing sitting later. And just like that, 50 minutes later, we're back at International Drive. We'll go upstairs, freshen up, and go out and get something to eat, yeah? Definitely. One hour and one minute later after getting in the car, we are back here. Can I interest you in a drink? Why not? Why not? I was going to actually do an edit of a video, but I'm on holiday, so I'll wait. The Topsy Tur Turvy, ain't it? Bar. Yeah. Let's go in here. Let's try this. We've not really, well, we have tried it once, but we never sat outside or anything like that, have we? So, yeah, we're on holiday. Let's enjoy. Let's have a quick look at the bar there. We've got two pool tables and outside seating. So we found that sink interesting, didn't we? It's happy hour. Oh yeah. No, that's yeah. Okay. So you get two for the price of one. Yeah. So you got two, what are they? Tequila sunrise. Tequila sunrise. I've got two bread lights. Bread lights. And it comes to about sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars, yeah. yeah. Which four drinks ain't too bad. No. And it's quite nice just sort of sitting here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we go back for the next one. And it's free. Brilliant. <laughs> and Carol's on the Instagram again. Um, so you've had a little taste of it. Is it strong? Um, no, it's not strong, but it's very strong. refreshing. It's very refreshing. Yeah, I had a little taste of yours as well. Nice. And as normal, my beer is a beer. Am I right in thinking the second one tastes even better than the first? It's not orange. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out and get something to eat. Nice little drink, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm me, I'm me, yeah. But we're on holiday. So this is where we're going to. Oh, we're going to see if they've got any tables in here. Let's go, yeah? So we're here. We're here. All right. How would you pronounce that, girl? Carabas. Carabas. Let me try to do the menu. Oh, here's your specials. Three favorites. Looking nice, doesn't it? Definitely. Nice. It does look nice. Um, 
that's the actual drinks, sangria. I think we're having wine, ain't we, Cal? Yeah. Right. Appetizers there. Pastas, etc. Specialities. And steaks and chops. Like seafood. And then we've got the wine list there as well. So, that's basically it. So let's have a quick look and then decide on what we're going to do. We've ordered your actually wine at the moment, yeah? We've gone yeah. for a red wine. California red. Yeah, and they come out with actually bread as well, don't they? Yeah, apparently you get Apparently bread. as well, so we'll see what that comes out like. But no, this looks really nice in here, doesn't it? It is very nice in here. Yeah, very, very nice. And also, it's, it's light in here as well. You can see what you're doing. Nice. Some sort of restaurants are like... Just have a quick look on the wall there. But some restaurants are very, very dark, and this is like a light one. I'm enjoying it. Mm. Until I see the bill. So our bread is turned up. It's just normal bread. It's, it is hot though. It's garlic bread. It's not garlic mm, No. No. Nice. What did you order? How you ordered a soup? I ordered a soup. Yeah. And then I had um, bolognese meat sauce. Yeah. And salad. Yeah, I just had a small steak, didn't I? They didn't have a big one, did they? And that's basically what I've got. Mashed potato and everything. Yeah. So anyway, so with your bread, they come up with this here, like some spices. I was just mixing some olive oil in there. Have a little dip, pay. Have a little dip. That's hot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was hot, yeah. But no. I should have a little bit of this as well. Oh, the bread is piping hot, isn't it? Mm. Is that better like that? I'm not keen on the bread. You're not keen on the bread. Oh, look, I like it. Yeah. Nice crispy crust. And yeah, very warm. I like it. Maybe the soup. Hmm, we'll see. Your salad's turned up. It looks very nice, doesn't lovely it? Like, oily, it's a lovely and oily, yeah. What is that? That's chicken soup. Tuscan chicken oh, soup. Oh, that looks very, Just like a very filling. Yeah. And, oi, don't put an Italian accent on. Not with me. Why not? <laughs> and my one is a sausage and God knows what. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how thick this is with the lentils and everything. But it's a proper light stew. It's really arty milk. Mm. Really, really nice indeed. Mm. Very nice. One of the nicest soups I've had for years, actually. And your one is like what? Oh, it's, it's, like, it's like a chicken stew with chicken and stew. Yeah, they've got so much sort of... Look, vegetables in it, carrots in it, chicken in it. Yeah. Yeah, like potatoes, everything. It's a proper stew, isn't it? It's not a soup, it's like a stew. It's a really nice Yeah, soup. very nice. Almost like you would have in like Hungary or something like that, yeah. or Austria or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. That spaghetti looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it, eh? And with your salad. <laughs> yeah. My steak is turned up. They didn't have the 10 ounce steak, they only had the 7 ounce steak, which tells me that. They don't actually just cut it and cook it. It's already pre-cooked, I should imagine, and then they just warm it up. But it's looking pretty nice. The truth is in the taste. Mm. As you can see, medium, cooked, perfectly. Very nice. And I'll take it with Sarah sharing the salad. Yeah. Look how big I'm What's your like? Really nice. You want to taste some? No, no. I will in a minute. But have you tasted some already? Yeah, I have. Um, is it? The pasta is lovely and fresh. And it, yeah. And the meat sauce isn't heavy. It's like more um, like an oily. Oh, taste. right. Mm. Well, once again, picture paints a thousand words. And the picture says Carol ordered too much. <laughs> No, it wasn't. It shouldn't have come up that big. <laughs> mm, it was nice. Mm. Let's get the bill. Mm. And now one or two people are gone. I can sort of show you some of the actual tables in here. And these booths are pretty nice, ain't they? Yeah, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Quite a lot of them. Airs to a lovely holiday. Cheers.
We are so lucky. Very lucky. Almost worries me. <laughs> so our check has turned up and it has come to $88.26. Not, Not bad for that to have a bottle of wine and no. quite a nice meal yeah when we say not bad this is not bad for american prices but yeah yeah but that's quite good so we, we will pay this put the check put the tip on which suggested tip they're saying is around about 15 to 17 dollars yeah so we'll put that on there yeah and then try to walk this meal off Quite nice here, isn't it? Hi. Very, very nice. And look how big it is in here. Really, really big. So that is where we was. This is where you'll find it on the International Drive. Right close to the Star Flyer. Carol, what did you think of it? It was really nice. The soup was lovely. The spaghetti... Well, I know it was really nice, but it was too big. Yeah. Um, my steak was okay. It wasn't perfect steak. It had like, it was so tender, really, really nice, but didn't have much flavour, to be the truth for you. So, no, it didn't have much flavour. So, yeah. I would say, what would you give it out of 10? Go um, I'd give it eight. Oh, you're wandering away there, girl. Well, people want to get past. Okay, yeah. What would you give it? Um, I'm going to give it an eight. I'd, I'd give it an eight as well. I'd give it an eight as well. It's um, it just been nicer if the steak had more flavour. That was the thing. The soup, delicious, absolutely delicious. But the um, atmosphere and the, the atmosphere, actual yeah. Restaurant yeah, really the nice. atmosphere and you're sitting down, you feel as if you're in like a boss restaurant, don't you? Yes. Yeah. But, and the and the price, I didn't think was too bad. I you had a bottle of wine, you remember? had a bottle of wine. The price wasn't too bad. Just I was looking forward to an American steak with a lot of taste to it. This steak, so tender, just missing a little bit of taste. But apart from that, pretty good. Really, really good. Would we go there again? <coughs> yes. Yeah, I'll try we'll go there again. Yeah. Anyway, we'll wrap it up from here. We'll say thank you for watching. Thank you. If you have subscribed, <coughs> a big, big thank you from us. And until our next one. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> and the star flyer is going up.